Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my new phone, Honor Play 4T. Why I need to show you about my phone? Because it is the first CPU Kirin 710A made in China, whole made in China by SMIC. SMIC is the Shanghai based semiconductor manufacturing international corporations short form SMIC. So it is the first CPU made in SMIC, not by TSMC. So it's very milestone product. Why I bought this phone? Because uh, previously I have been using Huawei P9 for over, you know, four years and still using. But uh, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, the the, the, the uh, fingerprint sensor was broken, so uh, it was malfunction. So I uh, needed to buy a new phone. So when I was uh, researching about what kind of phone I needed to buy, and I saw it, I saw the news about the Kirin 710A is made in China, whole made in China. So the uh, composed, the CPU composed in China and fabricated in China is the first time for the uh, SMIC. So I would like to try it. Uh, and then the, uh, okay, so that's why I uh, bought this phone. Otherwise I will, I would uh, buy Huawei P40 because this is the milestone so you can see this phone is very very cheap the price is cheap and uh, the functions uh, surely not not to compare with the uh, flagship the Huawei P40 Pro you cannot compare with it but uh, I can use it uh, without any problem because I don't play game I just want to use so uh, it has the the Kirin 70A 710A running at two gigahertz CPU, so it's a little bit no. And then the uh, you know my P9 running at 2.5 gigahertz, so my P9 the frequencies is even higher. And then um, it is not using it uh, 12 nanometer. 12 nanometer that one is the uh, by the uh, TSMC but SMIC that uh, is the first time so the uh, CPU is bigger is uh, 14 nanometer so this time a uh, 14 nanometer thin fat process right so um, comparing to Kirin 710 made by TSMC, it is lower grade, uh, 20 nanometer to 14 nanometer, is bigger, lower grade, and also the from the Kirin 710 is uh, 2.2 gigahertz. Now it's just 2 gigahertz, so uh, it's not uh, made in the Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company now. So it's the brand new, brand new run, right? And TSMS, TSMC can make um, seven or five nanometer. Very, very small run. But the SMIC is the first time to make the uh, 14 nanometer. So it's the first time, so it's good. So uh, you see the setting. You can see uh, about the phone can see is the Huawei Kirin 710A so it's the made in China by the uh, SMIC the Chinese chip maker okay all right so for the comparing to the uh, you know the P9 that's it this is the benchmark by Antutu of my P9 which I am now using as the 
video recorder to record this video. You see Huawei P9 is, is my old phone, the benchmark. But the new one, this is the Play 40, Honor Play 40 total mark, you can see. 100,000 something P9, 150,000 something, so it's higher, right? CPU, 59407, 3 something, so it's CPU faster. Though the frequency is just 2 gig, this 2.5 gig is higher, is faster because they may have the uh, optimizations and it is using the uh, Cortex A73 for the new one but the Huawei P9 is using the Cortex A72 uh, the Kirin 955 so it's uh, around the 30% uh, increased power efficiency and uh, 40% about the performance increasing. That's why the, uh, you know, the, uh, even the frequency is not high, still better than the P9 one. GPU, for sure, the P9 is famous for the GPU, not good for performing. It's very low end GPU. So you can see the new one is much faster and other memory it has 6 gig for the ram and 128 for the memory so i think it's enough much better than my p9 though the p9 for me is good for using and is enough for using i am satisfied with my p9 as well but the problem is the fingerprint sensor is broken so i needed to buy a new one so the new one now is faster than the old one, even faster, and um, which has the 4000 mAh for the battery, so I think it's good, but some kind of things you, you need to remember is the why it's so cheap is a one uh, RMB, RMB, which is uh, RMB, Chinese money, about uh, uh, 1200 around so it's very very cheap uh, so it might cut some kind of features like this one using the micro usb it's very old technology it's not using the type c and also there is no led indicator here you cannot see any messages here when you receive message no led night indicator but, uh, but it has the facial recognitions, whereas the P9, no. And then the uh, facial recognitions to facial unlock. It's like here, unlock by the face, so I think it's great. Yeah. And then um, the resolution is, I think, is lower than the uh, P9 or, I don't know, a P40 must, because it's cheap. And also, uh, as the HANA, this color is great. And also, I think some kind of features, they cut slide, uh, I think, uh, fa fast charging, no more, I think it's 20 watt or even around P9 era, the four years technology, 20 watt for uh, fast charging. <clears throat> and uh, also some kind of, but the, you know, the camera is good, has the AI and also the 48 MP pixel, 48 million pixel AI camera, so it's great. So it has uh, having the AI function. So when you take a camera, you have AI to make your pictures be more beautiful. And also you can use an AI to analyze what kind of object it is. Yeah, showing to you, analyzing. This is it's a hand, okay, it's a palm. Okay, all right. So using AI is better than my 
uh, that my Huawei P9, the Huawei P9 doesn't have the AI analysis, analysis, okay, all right? All right, so I think it's great. Moreover, we'll have uh, what kind of things really to show you. Is that because it's the US and USA with the, you know, I don't know why the USA doing a kind of sanctions to China, it's like everything. They say China, bad, 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 <clears throat> no, with, without any proof. A legend, national security issue, but USA has no proof about the national security, security uh, you know, the issue about the Chinese has some kind of threatening uh, issues, but they have no proof. Also, the COVID-19, also USA has no proof, and the origin is unknown. They still complaining the uh, China for the um, COVID-19 and everything. Huawei, ZTE and everything, uh, military or everything, they campaign China because I think it's China is getting stronger and better. So they always, they, they always can, uh, you know, campaign China, but it's just, just nonsense. So uh, everything, they just campaign. I don't care about that because it's, it's just crazy. Nowadays, we should talk about the cooperation, win-win, and then the, all the humans should cooperate together to cope with the rivals and also to help each other, help one and others to cooperate with different countries, global, globalization, um, human destiny in the same community to help all the people. Uh, countries should cooperate, not confronting like what USA is doing. It's not good. They are just, you know, now they ban, 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 ban all the things. I don't think it's good. And, um, okay, talk about the uh, things about uh, the USA is actively banning China. But China is just uh, defending. So they just uh, defend themselves. They won't actively do something to USA, you know. So when they do something and we we'll return and return something not revenging but usa is revenging and braining blaming china it's like it's just ridiculous like you kind of things like you know ridiculous like uh what kind of things like they uh you know record and then gather all the countries to uh, sue china about the covid 19 but the, the origin is unknown. That's ridiculous, right? And, you know, the HIV and also the Spanish flu, other, you know, HIV, uh, and then also, you know, kind of things, kind of diseases, kind of war before America, USA did a lot of things like the Asian Alliance to invade China uh, 100 years ago, you know, 100 years around ago. Uh, so many countries invaded China. So China claimed to sue the, the countries and claim back all the money, claim back all the things and the red legs. It's impossible, right? Every country's Western countries stole a lot of things from China. But we won't claim those countries to return the bad things, return all the, bad, the things back to, to us and claim that for money and suing them for money is impossible, right? So it's just crazy. I don't know why. So we talk about the those kind of things. Huh? So uh, because of the sanction, we cannot use Google. Uh, GMS, Google Surface. Let me show you. Huh? Google Surface, uh, for Google Drive. I just downloaded them. Or the Google Surface something. You cannot open it. See, Gmail won't run without Google Play services, which are missing from your device. So you cannot do it. You install it, no response. Du -du -du. Which means that uh, get Google Play services. There is no Google Play services, so it has notification. Right? Cannot open it. Google Plus cannot. Google Map cannot. 
Play Store cannot, YouTube cannot. YouTube won't run without Google Play services, which are missing from your device. So install you cannot. So it's crap. But I don't care about Google Surface because I don't use Google Surface. Uh, I can have uh, many alternatives nowadays. So uh, I saw the websites on the news. Uh, we don't need to use Google Surface. We have GMS. But no, no, no. We have uh, HMS, not uh, GMS. So we have App Gallery, Huawei, Building, App Gallery. You can download all the things, but you don't have the WhatsApp. So this is the other WhatsApp status, other kind of apps. It's not WhatsApp. YouTube, there are no, no YouTube, no kind of things. Google, Google everything, no, right? If you want to have to, some childhood have to Western applications, you can try to download this app to, uh, from the Portugal. And APK Pure. Also, there are so many apps which you can also find in Google Play. So, what's up? Yeah, there is YouTube. Yeah, everything. Mostly you will have 90% of something you will have all kind of things so APK pure also you have So Gmail Yeah Google map Yeah So uh, you don't need to use Google Play for downloading app we can just use the app to our APK Pure, or you can just go to the website to to search the the app and then know the APK directly on the website as well. So I think it's you don't need to use the Google service. You can just try something new to sparkle your brain, so to open the new areas of your brain. You don't need to stick to the Oh, Google Surface or at the iPhone, the App Store, right? Apple Store. You don't need to do it. Now you have a good alternatives for you to do, for you to use. So uh, you can also, if you don't have YouTube, you you can download the YouTube Vans, which is good uh, alternative alternatives for the YouTube. You can just open it, and it has also the great features to. You know, make it smaller to shrink on the screen like here. Small screen. The uh, inbuilt YouTube, you cannot have this functions, the feature. So I think this YouTube Vans is better. So everything has just like a YouTube app. And um, for the uh, map, there are also alternatives. You can have uh, chi for Chinese ones, you can have Baidu. Uh, map and uh, a, a map the go.data and here we go is the for I saw the website is uh, you see here we go you can search here we go here we go comes to app Huawei App Gallery. So uh, many website said that the uh, here we go can replace Google. You see, Huawei Google Map alternative arise with here we go. So I think it's the it sets it's the second largest map in the world. So you can just download the here we go for the alternation. Here we go. So everything there. Here we go. Yeah. You don't need to use Google Map. If you travel uh, Europe, uh, travel to Europe, uh, USA or whatever, 
the Western countries, you can also map me by Russian. I think Russian people bought it. So you can also use the map uh, in the Western countries, not in China. China used by Baidu or, you know, other apps developed in chi developed by China, which is good, which are enough. So for map is okay. For uh, YouTube, okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. It will be great. Uh, okay. And the phone, the speed is fast. Faster than my P9. It has AI so fast and GPU is fast and I think it's, this phone is very great uh, without any Google service GMS no need now still be great what kind of things I should say mm, let's see yeah for WhatsApp and uh, Facebook no no affections because um, they are not a Google company and also you know the but the WhatsApp there is some problem for the backup because Google Drive uh, they internally uh, instantly instantly uh, using Google Drive for the backup but uh, now since we don't have the GMS so uh, when you say backup maybe cannot sync to the cloud to the Google Drive just sync to backup to the NoCo drive so that that is the uh, one drawback but I don't care if you really love Huawei or you you don't like uh, what USA is doing uh, or you love China you should buy this phone even you don't love China and you can also buy this phone right <laughs> Since I'm Chinese, I must support Huawei or kind of, you know, Chinese CPU kind of things. Now I'm using the Longson 3A4000, the Chinese CPU, Chinese made CPU as well. So I love Chinese products. I don't use American products. So this is very happy for me to use the Chinese made CPUs using a SMIC, you know. The SMIC, the first CPU made in China, composed in China, the Finnet, everything made in China for the chip maker by SMIC. I am so happy using this phone with confidence. Okay, so without using Google Surface the first time because my P9 has Google Surface, GMS, I can install Google Play, everything YouTube works. But this time is my first time to use phone to use the, the phone without GMS, but I'm still happy, confident using it because there are so many alternatives. I don't think it, uh, it affects me a lot. I don't think so. Since Macau, in Macau, I can use the foreign apps. Uh, I don't need to use VPN to uh, use the Google or Facebook because Macau, Hong Kong, no problem, right? Because why uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook, those kind of WhatsApp cannot use in China? Because the those kind of USA, American companies, American apps companies uh, don't com comply with the Chinese cybersecurity law. So they don't agree with the laws. It's like uh, some kind of super supervision and, you know, some super and the monitoring and supervision they don't want to be monitored by Chinese government and by the Chinese laws so they just left and then China is always welcome them back to China it's like WhatsApp Facebook China is always welcome Facebook WhatsApp to come back to China if they obey or comply with the Chinese cyber security law so that's the story why China cannot use uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. It is not China's problem. It's the American companies don't apply, uh, don't comply, comply with the uh, Chinese cybersecurity law only, right? Um, uh, one more thing is that if you really want to use Google Play service or Google something, you can just go to the website and search Huawei. P40 
Google Play GMS here. Install. There are so many, you know, the guideline for teaching you how to install it properly. You need to, uh, you know, it's very troublesome. You have to have the USB OTG drives Type C or so uh, micro USB one downloading all the uh, APKs or the uh, files and click it and go to the setting for uh, restore factory default and choose the restore one so um, it's not cracking the phone but you have to install some APKs or the services to modify the surfaces but it's uh, not so great and not so easy for the newbie or the beginners or the form users to modify it or to change it so it's complicated and convoluted and not recommend people to do it and uh, more, moreover you have so complicated uh, perturbed uh, procedures for you to handle those things and install the APKs and you know download the APKs install the APKs and Google service and restore the form and those kind of things so I don't want to do it and I don't like to use the American stuff like Google Play or something so I don't do it and then uh, some people may do it and but uh, if they have uh, they have the new version of the Android updating they may have to have some errors always have error if you do this kind of you know the to use in the Google Play service there are so many errors and you know those kind of things and when you upgrade and upgrade your system you have to redo it so I don't want to do it you can search online for it and um, also about the Android Android before it was an open source you know OS by some kind of small groups of people in the United States but uh, Google just bought those kind of companies the company so now is uh, under Google but it all it is also under the open source license so that's why the Android is open source so Huawei and Honor can use the Android the open source OS so no problem with, with, with no problem no affection so it's open source is for everyone it's not for the USA or for Western people it is everyone everyone uh, has been dedicating uh, so many source code uh, to the uh, you know the Android so it's open source so we can use it so it's not American one so Huawei has the open source Android but Huawei has no the GMS only the Google service only so it's good so uh, what I want to expect is that uh, hold the you know the uh, the Chinese companies make more CPU side SMIC and more chipsets made in China like the sensors or something so let me show you how many sensor made in China I think this phone comparing my P to my P9 I think this phone is much using um, many many Chinese sensors and Chinese chips comparing to the time uh, four years ago for the P9 they don't use uh, so many Chinese you know sensors or vectors you see Huawei Huawei some kind of Asahi say the Japanese one some other things is uh, Huawei ST is the semiconductor in Europe the Italian and French uh, semiconductor conductor acceleration sensor and you wrote those kind of things mainly yeah so this phone is good and also you know because it's the low end one so uh, the Wi-Fi is just 2.4 gigahertz no 5 gigahertz okay but using Android 10 I think it's good also overall is a great phone I uh, hope uh, everybody try to update the from use, using without uh, Google service without GMS and NAS let us build up the uh, GMS and no I mean the HMS and then waiting for the Harmony OS so we can 
we don't need to use only Google or Apple, the USA company. We have to have many other alternations, alternatives for us to choose. So we have to support Huawei. Oh, thanks everybody. See you then.